Sources point to the Samsung Galaxy X being the company's response to gaming phones. The whole Apple and CPU throttling saga continues. It looks like the Twilight movies, but apparently there is a solution. And the Trump tax war continues as well. And this time it might affect iPhones coming to China and from. I'm Jaime Rivera and definitely this day is crazy. We had a great comparison last night. We've got more coming up soon. This is Parker Now Daily. The official news today begin with the Trump tax war in China, now including iPhones, and I mean the current iPhones. It seems the US government has discovered that iPhones make 9% of smartphones in China, which I believe is actually a larger number. Um, and he considers that now he can tax the phones going into China and also the phones being sold in the United States. Obviously, this means that if this happens, smartphones will get expensive because if you think about it, how is Apple just going to allow itself to be taxed and not allow every other company to be taxed after this? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Now let's talk about Samsung as we've got some leaks from Samsung actually where they show us the 42 millimeter Samsung Galaxy Watch whatever number that will be and uh, interesting it looks like the Gear S2 or pretty much the Gear Sport which is actually one of my favorite watches because it wasn't so large it was great for sports and uh, this is a rose gold variant so it seems that Samsung wants to play ball with uh, both the female and male audience with a larger and smaller watch and different color options we'll see what we get in the end now let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. We've got price tags, but these prices are in British pounds. So we're not exactly sure if there will be a conversion or if they're gonna play an Apple where there is no conversion. It's the same number only in different currencies. Very weird Apple. But yeah, Samsung apparently wants to charge $950 for the base model of the Galaxy Note 9. And then we're hearing crazy price tags that could range up to 1500 bucks if you go for the 512 gigabyte variant. Obviously these are just speculations. We'll see what we end up getting in the end. Now let's talk about the Apple MacBook Pro 2018s, all that mess that's happening with the CPU throttling. We've got videos claiming that it overheats. We've got other videos claiming that yes, of course it overheats, but if you're using Premiere, that's the reason. You can use Final Cut and you can avoid that. And that makes a lot of sense, even though People don't buy Apple products just to use Apple software. But the thing about it is there is this uh, feed on Reddit that shows that apparently it's a voltage issue, that if Apple would fix the voltage problems that could actually be fixed with software, then the CPU would allocate as much power as it needs and therefore not need to overheat. I'm not an expert. Let us know in the comments if you know about this. Hopefully that is a solution. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with the biggest mystery of whatever we're going to get at CES in 2019, which is the Samsung Galaxy X. The rumors are that we're getting the phone, aka probable foldable tablet there, but we've been scratching our heads over what the purpose of this product will be. And according to sources, and these are actually very large sources, we hear that it's a gaming phone. That the whole purpose from Samsung is that this is going to be the gaming flagship to respond to devices like the Razer phone. Whether that is going to be the case or not, you know, it actually makes sense to me, the fact that we can turn it into a tablet and use it as a gaming phone. If you think about it, you've got a larger canvas, but in today's question, let us know, what do you think? I mean, would you consider this a good idea for gaming phone one and two? What would the price tag be? I mean, this is new technology and you know the way things go. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Make sure you also catch our PocketNow a diario this video in Spanish, in addition to yesterday's PocketNow Daily. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.